been like I don't know, over a year since I made a tutorial for RPG Maker, and lately I just started an online project called Ever Everstar Online. So I said I'd start uh, making some tutorials again. So here we go. All right. So if you don't know anything about RPG Maker, you're gonna open a brand new one. I mean, open up uh, RPG Maker, and this is what a new project looks like. Just name your project whatever you want. Let's get this screen here. It's easy enough. And first off, uh, I'm going to teach you how to do a little bit of mapping. So I like to use this tool right here for your graphs. I also use the uh, these few tools up here for your mapping. And I use this one because it's just easiest for me. So there you go, there's some graphs. And uh, next, I'll teach you how to put in some trees. Kind of fill in your map here. Now, uh, sometimes I start with trees in the corner like this. So it's easier. And then add some detail into it. I don't think it's look like trees yet, but it will. should do it for now. All right, now that you use the center of the trees right there, so it looks like they're all stacked on top of each other. And next one, you want to use the tops and the bottoms of the trees. So I'll start with the bottoms. Just take them on here. And also, you can overlap them like this and kind of just I don't know, add some more detail to into it, I guess. Oh, and you can right click and it copies the tile you're on. Alright, so there's some basic trees. Alright, sorry about that little uh, intermission there. I had some friends needing help. So anyway, um, we're back and where were we? Okay, uh, next in this little map, I'm going to add, let's get rid of these first. And yeah. Whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna add some houses. So this on tab A over here, you've got quite a few to choose from, but I'm going to go with kind of like a elvish kind of village area looking thing. I don't know. In my game, there's uh, two of the playable classes, or I mean races are vampires and werewolves, so I'm just going to go ahead and map a little bit of an, like a, maybe like a werewolf village, just so you can kind of see. You can get a little taste of the online game too. So uh, we'll start with a couple of houses here. I always like to make mine um, pretty much like the weirdest shapes I can possibly think of because it's just more creative that way and no one wants to play a game with uh, boring places to live and such so if I grab the roof there. I can use different bottoms if I wanted like those or I can always just go ahead and mix mix and match if I want like so and then uh, here's a little detail I like to add to this for these the werewolf villages so go over here into tab B and uh, these two little bridge or still things whatever you want to call them I stick those under here and you can do that with you know all the houses if you wanted so and then uh, take the center one because it's got the bottom of it there and you can see oh, that makes it look a lot better and yeah there's just a little bit of detail I like to add in there so these aren't exactly great examples and I promise that the maps in the game are a lot better but this is just a quick little tutorial so here we go I just chose a little window here you can choose different ones obviously uh, there's a fireplace or I mean a chimney <laughs> chimney for a fireplace choose those whatever there's a lot of things you can put in your houses, different things, details you can put in the map. I mean, 
whoops, things like that, just bushes, all kinds of stuff. It's pretty much uh, unlimited, and then uh, eventually you can add your own tile sets and so on. But anyway, um, so there's some basic houses. What you want to do for doors is these three or these tiles right here are good options for doors. You just stick one on here somewhere, like so. I don't know if fast enough. Take some stairs from this one, like these probably. You stick there, and then you can get into the house actually. Um, anyway, so you, you chose this tile here for the door. As you can see, take one here. And uh, now it's up here in the top next to your mapping button tool deal is events. You click on the events and uh, right click here, go to quick event creation and door. And obviously, uh, you don't have to do it in quick event creation, you can do it the manual way, which is pretty much just as easy. But you know, just to get you started, here it is. And this is also really easy because. It just helps, and I'm gonna make it so when you walk in this house, you walk out of this house. That's just that's I don't know. I don't want to make an indoor an indoor map yet. Anyway, so uh, there you go, and you can do the same thing for all of them. Make a door there. You can change the door if you want. Take one of these. I don't think I ever see that in the Werewolf Village, but. Whatever you want. Now we'll test it. It's gonna be kind of loud. Let me turn it down. We can see what we did. Test play is nice because it has a lot of uh, the game maker features in it. Like if you hold control, you can walk through walls, like so. You can also walk through events. But uh. Other than that, you, you really can't, I promise. See, that doesn't take you anywhere because I didn't set it to take you anywhere, but you see how the doors work now. And this one takes us over here. Pretty simple. So there you go. And uh, if you want, you can always just test your, your kind of area and see how big it is and scale your character, how far it takes or how long it takes to get from one end of your map to the other. And it, it just kind of helps to know those things so when you start making your game then you know that you know if you're supposed to be traveling miles and miles you should probably make a couple different maps or one really big map so uh, that's that and um, I'm gonna try to keep these kind of short so that's your basic mapping tutorial number one and the next one I'll probably do some lighting a um, couple things like that I'll teach you how to change some things in the database etc but that's your basic there you go, you got it. So uh, I'll see you in a minute.